Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Mario must really like that door that he was staring at it this whole time. So let's go back into Big Boo's haunt over here and collect the next star. Ride Big Boo's merry-go-round. In this one you have to go into the basement. So fall down any hole you like on the first floor and you'll pretty much get pooped out in the basement. There's some water to break your fall, so don't worry about it. So fall on the hole, which looks like death, but it's not actually death. <laughs> I mean, it hurts if you hit the floor like that, but then you just immediately recover your health anyway. There's a couple of other stuff to explore down here, but uh, if you ever fall down here, you gotta use that door to get back up, and it'll take you back outside. In here, here's the merry-go-round. Good lord, this music is loud. <laughs> Alright, kill the booze. Gotta kill the booze. It's, ah, Alcoholics Anonymous. And gotta take care of that. Ah, dang it. No, there we go. And gotta get more booze. Come on. Out of here. Get. And yeah, the floor is moving, so. Do they only come out of this one painting? If so, oh, there we go. I guess it is just they only come out of that one painting. And then you kill off Big Boo just as you did in the last part. No big deal. And voila. Here we go. I was a little bit off timing there, but that's fine. It's kind of weird that you have to um, kill this boo every time you want to go into the level, but eh, it, you get used to it in time and you're able to do it rather quickly. Secret of the Haunted Box. Alright, for this one, you want to start out at the second floor. Well, you start out at the uh, first floor, of course, but you gotta go up to the second floor. Uh, which door is it? I forgot. Here it is. This is it. Uh, uh, yeah! Books are attacking. Books are attacking! Okay, you, now for this, you gotta hit the books in the right order. That's correct, apparently. And, alright. And then... Ooh, this opens up. And you go through here, there's your star. Uh, as I said in the last part, you can get stars extremely fast in this world because this world is very compact but the thing about it is that it's it's very short like the the area is if you know where to go you're going to be done with everything really really quickly except maybe the um 100 coin star but that's that's always another another story all right let's seek the eight red coins and there's also some stuff to explore around the uh, haunted house but I'll, I'll do that in the 100 coin star. Alright, red coin behind the piano. <laughs> I love that thing so much. <laughs> a couple of red coins up on these bookshelves. Don't forget about them. Oh yeah, I'll also look out for the evil books as well. Um, I don't remember if there's a, a red coin behind this boo painting. But you can go through here. Um, like so, if you have the vanish cap. So again, it's very handy to have all those switches activated. Do not forget to activate your switches, people. And how can that eye see me? I'm invisible. How can you see me? Explain this, Mr. Eye. Are you an all-seeing eye? Uh, is there a red... Oh, there isn't a red coin in here. Why do I think there's a red coin in this room? Oh! It's in the room above this room, okay. Oh, okay. So I'm just gonna go through the doors in order. I suppose because I think there's another red coin down uh, this route if you hug the walls. Oh, no, it's not hugging the walls, but if you just go follow the path. There we go. There aren't any in the basement to my knowledge, so... Uh, unless I'm just being forgetful again, but I don't think there are any in the basement. Uh, what's through here? This, oh, this is uh, sort of a hint that there is uh, another room there, and you'll also be able to see the uh, star that the room leads to. So that's a hint to the um, haunted bookcase solution, so to speak, of the puzzle. There's no red coins in there, I know that. So I'm going to skip that door. That le that leads to the um, haunted bookcase area. 
okay. I mean, haunted bookshelf area. Why do I keep saying bookcase or whatever? Anything in here? Oh yeah, there's red coins underneath these coffins. I don't think all of these go up, though. Yeah, only some of them surprise you. <laughs> How did I forget he was there? Uh, okay, last one should be through here, which is... Oh, it's, oh, it's on this... Uh, look out for that trap door there. That trap door will poop you out on the lower floor. You don't want that to happen. Going through here... Uh, wait, where did the... Oh, wait, wait, it's up on the other side, okay. It's up over here. And right there. There is your eight red coin star. See, I, I pretty much explored the entire mansion by now. Except for the uh, um, outer areas and the roof, which I'll be doing very shortly. But yeah, this very, very short world. Probably, if, like I said, if you know where, where you have to go, you're just going to be flying through stars in this world. Big booze balcony. So now we gotta go up to the high place of this world, the highest place, which is the roof. Ah, bad Mario. Uh, to do so, you've got to do some tricky platforming here. Oh, oh, I failed. No, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Oh, I wanted to wall kick off. Oh, maybe I can do it from here. Oh, that's, what, that's the door I need to get to. If you don't know that door is there, it's probably going to baffle you for quite a while. <laughs> Alright, over here is... Well, I'll show you the rest of this. This is another um, vanish cap area. That's a secret room for another star. And there's Big Boo's balcony. <laughs> now, wasn't that quick? One... And Big Boo always takes three hits. He never gets any stronger. But of course, you know, they're ghosts. They just don't die. So it makes a lot of sense. Goodbye, Ectoplasm. Now you gotta regenerate yourself. Now I gotta figure out how to get on this roof again. I, I, I always have issues getting on this roof. There we go. Start there. You got a long jump to this spot here. No, oh, no, no, there we go. No, zip. I wonder if I should be in, like, Mario... No, Mario Cam's even worse. No, don't fall off the back of the roof. No, don't you dare fall off the back of the roof, Mario. Okay, maybe I'm better at that uh, kick jump climbing on slopes than I thought I was, because that's, that's the second time I managed to save myself in this walkthrough. Uh, the first time was getting that first uh, 100 coin star back at the... Uh, um, Bob on Battlefield. Anyway, there is a one-up, and there is the star. Here we go! One more star to collect, and it is indeed back over uh, near the balcony area, but it's a little bit easier to get to than... <laughs> it's a little bit easier to get to than the um, star on the roof. I'm glad there's no coins on the roof. That would be... That would tick me off when doing the 100 coin star. Anyway, eye to eye in the secret room. Remember that room off in the balcony that I said had a um, secret room? That is the one. And I need to use the magical powers of the vanish cap and a well-timed uh, double jump and wall kick along with it. You know, I should probably grab this in case I lose some health. Because I'm already at three, I mean, I lost three health because of that boo. Alright, so grab the Spanish cap, go through the store, and get yourself set up. You got, you have plenty of time to do this, it's just that it's the execution that... There we go. It's that you gotta do the execution on your first shot, but if you do it on your first shot, you have plenty of time. There we go. And this is the secret room. Lock on to me, Mr. I, please. Nope. Lock. Lock. No. Please lock on to me. I need to kill you. There we go. <laughs> I like how the eye is like floating. The eyes on characters like their own models or their own part of the models, except for on the booze. <laughs> it's just so weird like that. And there's another um, cap up there in case you need to get out of here. In case you get yourself stuck in there. But there's the star. 
Now, for the 100 coin star, I guess I should knock that off as well since I've been doing stuff in order. And... Hey, how's it go? Got one more to do in here. If you don't mind, I think I'll do that now. <laughs> so, as usual, I'm going to uh, click the 8 red coins one. And the first thing I'm actually going to do is start out by exploring the outer area. This box here is very crazy. Oh shoot, I shouldn't have done that because the coins are now kind of up there. And I need them to be down here. Um, let's try that again. <laughs> that was my mistake. That was my mistake. So back over to... I just want to speed this up here by getting the coins in a timely manner, so to speak. There aren't that many coins around the perimeter of the haunted house. It's just that uh, um, there, the, the coins are kind of scarce. There aren't as, as few as there were in um, the, uh, Jolly Roger Bay, though, of course, but they're still pretty scarce. Or just let yourself fly all over the place here, and there we go. See, that box contains five coins, and yeah, I don't want to miss that. And just jump on them to collect three coins. And I'm just going to take a walk around the house here. And well, maybe there are more coins around the perimeter that I remember. So, start with the perimeter first, I suppose. Is that box going to contain a one-up or something? No, just a, wow, lots of coins. The coins in this one do seem rather, um... Like, when you find a place that has coins, you're gonna find a lot of coins, is what I'm saying here. Which are, this is the room that you use the vanish cap to get through the painting with the bookshelves. Uh, so I won't have to go through there. Over here. Uh, is it worth getting on that roof? Like, is there any, any benefit to getting on the roof? I don't think so. Like, uh, like, why would these boxes be here otherwise? Because I think I just, yeah, I slide right off the roof and I get up there. So, there goes the boxes. <laughs> Wait, where'd the, rest, where'd the rest of them go? Did I get them all? Really? Hmm. Didn't seem like I got them all. Hmm. Anyway, I'm going to go in here. Because there's a little Mr. I I can use to get a coin. There we go. Got to get him to lock on to you. And this is the elevator that leads into the basement with the booze merry-go-round. So, yeah, I don't have to bother with that. Um, wait, maybe maybe I should show that elevator like from both sides. So, I'm going to do what I'm going to do here is uh just for the fun of it. I'm going to just for the sake of showing stuff, jump down here. Go to the <laughs> go to the merry-go-round area. And uh, fully explore the basement. Is there just out of curiosity? Is there booze in here that I could use for coinages, or is it just flamethrowers? Oh, there are booze. So that means booze equal blue coins. This is what I mean about uh, the coins being in clumps of sorts. And oh, that makes big boo up here. <laughs> but I don't need to battle you. If I, just, if I battle him, I won't get anything out of it. It'll just uh, give me a, a star that I've already collected before. Uh, this leads back around. This is where the uh, front door to the boo, uh, Boo's Merry-Go-Round is. So, this, this is where the elevator leads out, because I didn't show you this before. So I thought I would show you that now. Take this door. Oh jeez, it's Silent Hill. <laughs> and here's the elevator. Just take it all the way up, and it'll lead you back outside the mansion. This is also where I killed off that big guy for a blue coin. So I've got 70 coins here, and now I'm going to start exploring the room's legit style. Like, nope, nope, there we go. I ah! <laughs> guess the piano can hurt you. Wait, wait, wait a second, is there something up? I don't think there's anything up on this ledge. I just want to see for the fun of it. No, there isn't. I didn't think so. <laughs> Love that thing. <laughs> Alright, it's gotta get me 
some coinages. No, bad, bad furniture, bad books. No, and I killed the booze behind that uh, vanish cap room there, so I don't have to go behind there. This leads out here. I'm just gonna. Oh, a lot of coins here. Ten more. Oh, dang it. Thank you. Lock on. Thank you. Always gotta make sure the Mr. Eyes are locked on before you do the spinny spin. And 91. Maybe there are more coins in this place than I remember there were. Because I'm getting these coins uh, relatively fast. Hey there. Hey, how's it going? And the last one should be in here. Yeah! And there's plenty of coins to get on the upper floor too, so yeah, maybe there are uh, more coins in the mansion than I thought there were. Alright, so let's exit out of Luigi's Mansion here. And with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.